So it was in the summer of 1987 and Harrison Graham's neighbor started complaining of a foul odor coming from his apartment. The landlord was going to investigate, but Graham kind of barricaded himself in the house so that the landlord couldn't gain access. He later escaped through a fire escape. Um, once the landlord and the police were finally able to break down the door, they found a naked corpse of a black woman and a partially dressed corpse of another. Traces of blood, drugs, as well as a layer of garbage, 40, 40 centimeters high, pile of dirty mattresses, and a skeleton. In the closet, more skeletonized remains wrapped up in blankets were found. While inspecting the roof, the investigators found a green duffel bag, which contained bones of the hands, feet, and legs of another murder victim, while an excavation of the basement revealed a skull, rib cage, pelvic bone belonging to a seventh victim. Since all but two of the bodies were in a state of severe decomposition, the police found it difficult to determine their cause of death. The cause for the other two was determined to be strangulation. This is going to be a longer one. August 17th, Harrison was tracked down by uh, with his mother, who, after uh, precaution, convinced him to surrender. In a subsequent confession, he explained that he strangled the seven women after sharing drugs and having sex with them. Um, so, in a very big nutshell, Harrison was a piece of shit from Philadelphia and raped and strangled several women and kind of stored their bodies in his apartment. 